those days before the functions of the Anunnaki gods, before their heavenly descent upon the earth above the land of Kish, before they would bring kingship to man, the five great holy ones who became fallen angels and chiefs to the Anunnaki, Yekun, Gadriel, Penemu, Kesabel, and Kesiade, Tinki, Utu, and Nana were the functions of deceit granted. These were of the angels of the two hundred that descended upon Mount Hermon, the ones that were deceived, and then Greek called Azazel and Samyalza, who were the main leaders. Azazel being ascribed all sin. Yekun, the instructor of knowledge, instructed Inki, or Azazel, who is ascribed all sin upon the earth where direct contact was committed upon the earth, where they had descended with the two hundred. Yet, Yekun and the four others, Gadrel, Penemu, Kesabel, and Kesade, could not descend upon the earth, for they had already had a main function in deceiving Adamu and Eve over nine hundred years before this. Here, where Azazel was instructed by Yekun, who was also known as Lucifer, he had direct contact and committed sins and crimes and instructions and knowledge that was dangerous for the young budding mankind. And they had taken the daughters of man and made them their own and their wives to make their own lineages to be worshipped. With the instruction of Yekun, these angels of the two hundred, Azazel and Samgaza, believing they would be worshipped as gods, did so and made lines and lineages of their own, also infecting man's seed, trying to go along with the plan of Yekun, who tried to, and many times, had succeeded in infecting man's seed. Once to the point where they had to be destroyed and a great flood was sent by the god Anu, known as the father to the Anunnaki. For Anunnaki means the sons of Anu, not the ones who came from above, as said in so many programs such as ancient aliens and taught by teachers such as Sitchin. This is false information. Yekun is celebrated as the head Satan in the Kabbalah. He is responsible for not just deceiving Adam and Eve, but for giving wicked knowledge to Zazel and Samyaza and the leaders of the two who descended upon Mount Hermon. Inky was the Sumerian name for Zazel, the false bell god of wisdom and knowledge in water and the Apsu, the great deep in the abyss. It is Marduk, his son, his Nephilim child, who poses the most danger, considering he is an evil spirit, and an evil spirit they will remain, such was said by the God Yahweh, and only God Yahweh, the Almighty, who men have given himself as his son, Yahshua, the Christ as a sacrifice and had saved mankind and given a way for them to have true eternal life and to live into the light again. They would be tested. But Marduk now is worshipped as the bell gods. He is the main one that is dangerous, for he is free to roam the earth as an evil spirit form. And he is great in the eyes of Iki. Azazel is condemned to the earth along with the two hundred others whom had descended on Mount Hermon, for they had just gone a little bit too far to where they immediately were punished, and their sons murdered each other off, the Nephilim, the giants, the hybrids. Once again the seeds would try to be infected. And here is what must be said, and most people do not know this, that Yahweh is Anu, the father to the Anunnaki. For he is the same one who sent the flood, and he had gained instruction to Enlil, 
to give Jesus a soldier, who was known as Noah. Instructions to build a boat, to save a family, to save animals, to save certain animals. Some of them to be killed off, for many animals were infected, such as the dinosaurs, becoming experimented with to the point that they had grown too great, too big, and had destroyed many things on the earth. You see, the Yakun, who is the Lucifer, who is the Satan, he is the serpent, and he is of the serpent race. Even though Gadrel is the main ruler over all the angels and the serpent race, there was one that was beautiful, a great race, such as these five great holy angels were. Uh, these were the seraphims, and they were the overfims, and they were the cherubims. But the Lucifer, Jacob, the cherubims, were sometimes lizard, monkey, serpentine, beautiful at one time, until they were cursed, and fell, and they became horrid creatures, frightening, lizards with wings, dragons at times, things that would be depicted in the Sumerian culture. Now, for the holy angels, when they had left their first estate, had followed Yeku, or you Lucifer instruction along with recommendations from the four others such as Gabriel he is the one who deceived Eve there was Penema who had taught writing there was Kesabel who was responsible for teaching instruction on how to diminish the womb or also known as abortion and how to do the deadly strike to the embryo then there's this Kesiade who taught all types of instruction on manners of warfare and how to build and inst make instruments of death such as Gadriel also did he made instruments great instruments of death or had taught this instruction and given permission instruction to the other angels who were responsible that came down upon the earth that were condemned to the earth for 70 generations they are condemned and will not get out even until the judgment day they will be released only to be judged for they will not be free, and people do not understand that. But the Nephilim children, the ones that they had bred, who became evil spirits, such as Yahweh said, and the evil spirits they would remain, would haunt the earth, tricking mankind, being worshipped, trying to help build up an army to somehow free their parents from this underground abyss, from this underground dungeon and jail or prison they had seen that their parents was taken. For the only way that they could defeat such a God, such as Yahweh, which they could never anyways, but they must attempt, would be to free their fallen angel parents, who are powerful angels, even though they are diminished. For all angels who fall will be stripped of many powers, and they are nothing compared to the holy angels, the ones that remain with Yahweh. Now, when these four others who had fell with Satan, or your Yeku, the Kabbalah will tell you about this and show you about how in this Jewish and ancient text that they would hold spell that they would practice spells and incantations through it, and that there would be many instructions within it on the worship of Yeku. Along with a distorted view of Yahweh though. Basically trying to give great praise to anyone that taught great knowledge saying that it freed mankind from Yahweh's oppressive rule which was ridiculous when people lived in light and were in day, not in any type of danger we're in perfect paradise we're in happiness we're in the light no they must be tested and we should be very grateful that Yahweh gives us that chance. Your son of these angels, these ones that are condemned to the earth, will not get another chance. And we're not only to spend time in the fury abyss, but we'll end up going into the lake of fire and hell, such as the sins of sinners that follow after them. Now let me read to you the book of Enoch, so that we may learn much more about Yekun and these four other angels who misled the Antichrist angels who descended down upon the earth that most people do not know about. 
and that's why I'm trying to with this instruction to tell this story, to tell this true uh, factual thing that uh, uh, Enoch had written about. Now you must somehow acknowledge that these events must have been placed and that the Ethiopic version of the book of Enoch, the first book of Enoch, not the secrets of Enoch, for it is Slavonic and has been tampered with, but the first book of Enoch, which is, if you get the Ethiopic version, is the purest version that you will get. And this is what I recommend and we'll read from chapter 68. After this judgment, they shall be astonished and irritated, for it shall be exhibited to the inhabitants of the earth. To Behold the names of those angels. These are their names. The first of them is Samyaza, the second, Artiscopha, the third, Armin, the fourth, Huckabiel, the fifth, Terrell, the sixth, Rumiel, the seventh, Daniel, the eighth, Kel, the ninth, Barakel, the tenth, Azazel, the eleventh, Armors, the twelfth, Baratario, the thirteenth, Pesaseo, the fourteenth, Hanano, the fifteenth, Tyriel, the 16th, Semapisil, the 17th, Yedarel, the 18th, Tumiel, the 19th, Tyrell, the 20th, Rumio, the 21st, Azazel. 3. These are the chief angels, and the names of the leaders of their hundreds, the leaders of their fifties, and the leaders of their tens. The name of the first is Yakun. He it was who seduced all the sons of the holy angels in causing them to descend on earth, let astray the offspring of men. The name of the second is Kesabel, who pointed out evil counsel to the sons of the holy angels and induced them to corrupt their bodies by generating mankind. The name of the third is Gadriel. He discovered every stroke of death to the children of men. Seven. He seduced Eve and discovered to the children of men the instruments of death, the coat of mail, the shield, the sword for slaughter, every instrument of death to the children of men. From his hand these things derived to them who dwell upon earth, from that period forever. 9. The name of the fourth is Penemu. He discovered to the children of men bitterness and sweetness. 10. Pointing out to them every secret of their wisdom. 11. He taught them to understand writing as of ink and paper. 12. Therefore numerous have been those who have gone astray from every period of the world even to this day. 13. For men were not born for this, thus with pen and with ink to confirm their faith. 14. They were not created, except that, like the angels, they might remain righteous and pure. 15. Nor would death, which destroys everything, have affected them. 16. For this knowledge they perish, and by this also its power consumes them. The name of the fifth is Kasyade. He discovered to the children of men every wicked stroke of spirits and the demons. 18. The stroke of the embryo in the womb to diminish it. The stroke of the spirit by the bite of the serpent. And the stroke which is given in the midday by the offspring of the serpent. The name which is Tibet. Which is basically a demon. Possession. Uh, instruction. Uh, channeling. Also. 19. This is the number of the Caspel. The principal part of the oath, which the Most High, dwelling in the glory, revealed to the Holy One. 20. Its name is Betha. He spoke to Holy Michael to discover to them the sacred name, that they might understand that secret name, and thus remember the oath, and that those who pointed out every secret thing to the children of men might tremble at that name and oath. So people we must realize that the main function of Yakun and of all these fallen angels is to not just infect mankind see, but to deceive them and mislead them, and pull them away from Yahshua, the one who had given himself on the cross and sacrificed himself for man's sins, ungodly behaviors, for mankind has gone in such wickedness and darkness. The Lord gave himself so that we might be able to have eternal life and survive in a beautiful, beautiful paradise with him forever. But if you do not follow Yahshua and then go along with the false gods, these bell gods, these ones that are worshipped all over TV, MTV, music awards, so all kinds of things like that, they are wicked. So therefore, we should not be listening to them. 
we should not be entertaining these demons. I put a lot of them channel. And you, if you go investigate, most of these celebrities, the head celebrities, I promise you, you will find them talk about them, selling their souls to Satan at one or another and channeling some type of demon. People, do you want to do that? Because it's a losing streak. You will lose. It's already written. Remember, the Word. He is the one that created all things. Who is the, the Word? Is Christ. And then He gave Himself to mankind in such a humble way. A humble way that no man could ever repeat. He is the appointed one. He is the worthy one. He is the only one that was able to accomplish what He did. And He conquered death. And He also resurrected, conquered life. He also took the burden of sin for mankind. But you must acknowledge him and call upon him to be his and truly, truly do as he says and be obedient. Truly acknowledge him and you will be saved. Now I should read to you chapter 20 from the book of Enoch where we'll learn about these watchers, the angels who watch. For the watchers mean not just the fallen angels who watch at one time came down and committed sin and did horrible crimes against God and man, but the good angels are also called watchers. Here's the proof on that. Enoch chapter 20. Also we will find about the serpent race and who really rules over them. Yes, and this is also scriptural, so it's in here. Chapter 20, verse 1. These are the names of the angels who watch. Verse 2. Uriel, one of the holy angels who presides over clamor and terror. Raphael, one of the holy angels who presides over the spirits of men. Raguel, one of the holy angels who inflicts punishment on the world and the luminaries. Michael, one of the holy angels who, presiding over human virtue, commands the nations. Verse 6. Serachiel, one of the holy angels who presides over the spirits of the children of men that transgress. Verse 7. The last part of this part. Verse 7. Gabriel, one of the holy angels, who presides over Ikasat. And Ikasat means the serpents. Over paradise and over the cherubim. So, when we talk about Yekin, Gadrel, Kishade, and Gisabel, and Penemu, we're talking about a serpent race that was once. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. But when they were deformed and demented, and they would come down in that form to trick mankind even, uh, after they didn't uh, spread knowledge to them uh, right off the bat. That was done by the, the angels that already fall, uh, had come down to Mount Hermon. Now, they supposedly, uh, part of them were, at least part of them, were of the serpent race of the Ikasad also. So, when we have these pictures, these ancient pictures, and I do, you've seen that one from the Egyptian picture, if you go back, where there is definitely a serpent man, like being, humanoid being, on two legs, standing straight up, directing knowledge towards the Egyptians on how to create electricity. And I'm sure you've seen that. There's a big bomb coming out, and then there's a weird looking green thing. <laughs> green lizard type of man, a serpent, a people, you know, Satan, like I said, Satan manipulates, and, and, and yes, he did certain forms of mankind, but that was after he manipulated them, he did not create them, so all these people were think sorcery is so cool, and incantations, well, my father, he was a kind of a warlock, and uh, it is not a good thing, these things will haunt you for your your whole life. So watch out for these Nephilim, watch out for these end times and these tricks, and watch out for the false Christs. Watch out about looking at the planet and the luminaries for signs, for the only sign we need has already come. His name is Jesus Christ, or Yahshua. My name is Dan Wallahan. Thank you for listening. This is for the Yahshua's Servant Channel. Have a great day.